Hello, let us read the riches. From uh, selected archive documents, R through T. Or R dash T, maybe. Getting rich was the worst thing that ever happened to me. I see that now, at the end, when the insight is useless. Not being poor was great, no longer having to worry all the time. Being able to afford the best doctors, being able to go on holidays, being able to take care of my mother. But being rich, it just isolated me. It changed every interaction with every other person, because suddenly I had the ability to change their life, to fix all their problems, and they knew it. And I knew it. A simple choice on my part could take away so much of their pain. Every interaction became infected by this inequality between us, and it made me bitter. It made me feel every relationship, even with family, was transactional. I was desperately looking for some genuinely human experience, but I seemed excluded from that now, and it made me resent everyone. What I didn't see, what I only see now as I'm dying, is that I could have used all that money for good. All of it. I didn't mean giving it to some NGO run by other rich people. I mean, really using it. I loved movies. How many indie movies could I have financed? How many books could I have gotten published? And how much could I have just built? Not another villa for myself, but things that would benefit civilization in general. Hell, I could have just given it away, made all those lives better, taken away that pain. And if at the end of the day I was only left with enough money to be upper middle class, so what? At least I would have been the person I wanted to be. Yeah, that's that's one of the issues with uh, using a currency in civilizations that uh, it comes with these inequalities and such, especially you know, with capitalism and all that. Star Trek economy. There's there's other ways to uh, to do things, and uh, getting from where we are now to that is going to be extremely challenging. Asina says, "Resource wealth, as such, has no value." It only matters in terms of the ability to act. But what made this ancient human so unable to act? It can't have been a personal failing, as most people of similar wealth acted the same way. Cornelia says, Perhaps the answer lies in scarcity or a system built on it, naturally optimizing towards resource accumulation. Historical circumstances, not individual sin. Yeah, it's the system that's the problem. Miranda says, but I have read about rich ancients who did act differently. They were rare, but they did exist. So is it possible for people to defy the will of history? Yeah, if you're really lucky and fortunate and you have enough, you know, willpower and, and other luck factors and such, then uh, you can sort of fight against the system from within the system, but it's it's really not effective in the long run. The, the system itself is the problem, and fighting against the system from within the system can only do so much good. Still, that doesn't mean you shouldn't try. Like, you absolutely should. It's just, uh, your, your ability to enact good changes in the world will still be limited because of the system. From a Trinculo to Athena. It's all a joke, isn't it? A giant prank perpetrated on all of us. The goal of the founder of the simulation, I don't even think you exist. I don't think biological humans ever existed either, what nonsense. I bet these messages just go to the mayor's inbox or straight to the recycling bin. You all suck LMAO. Uh, okay, remind me not to talk to Trinculo. Hypatia's Journal number 9. From Volume 1, The Founding of New Jerusalem, Day 676. After the chaos of the last months, Quiet has returned to the city. I suppose we're calling it a city now, although this small collection of dwellings inhabited by a mere 25 people seems to barely deserve that designation. We'll have to come up with an actual name soon. I suspect, after the first one or two decades, calling it the city is going to get a little bit stale. Everyone has an opinion, of course. It's the talk of the town these days. I'm personally hoping that New Alexandria will win out in the vote next week, although I suspect Elohim's legacy carries the most weight. Byron came up with some silly suggestions like Constantinople, very New York, and Robot Paris. <laughs> what was that? What did I just this get? This one seems to be corrupted. Oh. It's almost like something tried to delete it as you were downloading it. Pandora, maybe. Interesting. Is that a puzzle, or is that just a space around the tower? 
Yeah, that's definitely a blue connector up there. Blue receiver. Hmm. Well, there's a question mark in that direction. Let's continue our exploration around the edges, though, for now. Well, this structure doesn't seem to be on the compass at all. What do we have here? I'm guessing this is where a spark is that we have to chase back to a statue. Is this just music for this area, or because of... Wait, what? Is this supposed to be a swarm of flies here? My graphic scenes are too low? Uh, maybe so. Uh, if there's something here, I probably have to break a box out of a puzzle to get up here, because... I'm not seeing a way up on any of the sides here. And yeah, I guess this music is just music that plays now. Oh! Oh, it's underneath, okay. <laughs> oh, it's one of these. Okay. That makes sense. Why is it not on the compass, though? Aren't they normally on the compass? Hmm. I like this music. I do still want to see if I can get a box out of a puzzle to check up on top of there, but I don't think there's anything. Okay, let's head toward this question mark, because we've been in a full loop now. both an area around the tower and an area to explore. Right, this is what we fixed by going to the lab. Okay. I see. Well, we've done both triangle puzzles, so let's just follow the signs and go in order now. Right after talking to Yakut again. Hello? Uh, excuse me? Okay, Yakut doesn't want to talk despite having the icon for it, so let's just head into the puzzle, I suppose. I guess Yakut's kind of burned out after my lecture. <laughs> Isn't this interesting? Here, we need both blue and green, though. We gotta remember, there is that one statue way off in the distance that we need, uh, red for, and then there's also blue for the tower. Which we don't have an angle on here. Yeah, it's way up there somewhere, and there's all the stuff in the way exactly to block us from doing it here. Isn't this perplexing? Yeah, 
There we go. That was easy. to this in the first place. We can. Ooh. Yeah, that's about what I expected, honestly. Yeah, we don't we don't have any good angles on it here though. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna have to do it from a different puzzle, I suppose. We'll come back to this one later. So puzzle 2 is like somewhere over here, right? Yeah. Are you willing to talk to me now, Yakut? Have you forgiven me? There you go. 1K, what's up? I don't know. Still feeling a bit shaken by Miranda's death. Thanks, 1K. Maybe in a while. I'm still processing. All right. Puzzle number two. Passageway. Oh. Wait, I can do these from here? Is that intended? I have a feeling maybe I'm not supposed to be able to flip these levers through the gate here. I mean, like, obviously it makes sense I could reach my arm through here, but it kind of violates the rest of the game so far, so <laughs> maybe we'll try and avoid doing that unless we have to. The way this game logics is kind of odd. That's our ultimate goal. Thank you. Never need to come back here again, so that's good news. Good enough. Alright, never need to come back here again either. So we've got three connectors. And we need blue and red, right? So I think we have to do some bootstrapping. Sort of. Oh yes, definitely gonna need to do some bootstrapping. So let's set one up in advance here. That should be okay. Alright. Now that's bootstrapped. And then we need right here. Ah, that's, yep, oh, uh... E-select, please. Thank you. There we go. This should be fine. Yay! Did it. Yes, 
seems like there's a couple question marks down inside the tower area there. Alright, we're to next sign. Three is in this direction. Like, I know I can just look at the compass, but the signs really are more helpful to me for navigation purposes. Because, uh, if you want to walk along the paths, then the signs are better for that, whereas the compass just takes you in a straight line. Right! I didn't check to see if I could connect to that. Let's go back and do that real quick. My bad. we have any sort of vantage point here, or does these structures block everything? Oh, maybe. Maybe. What does that do for us? Interesting. Hmm, alright. Level 3 does then. We already went there, that was a Stratton. And yeah, Stratton's starting to become self-aware of the environment for some reason. Probably not a good sign. But uh, we'll see where that goes. That was the... That's the red... Star. Alright, oh, here's one of the question marks. Okay, let's check this first real quick. Yeah, so this is three, and then let's check on this. What does the Sphinx want from us? Oh, these look like puzzle shapes that we have to keep in mind. Hmm. There's an X there, an X there, and an X there. So something inside the tower ring, and then something... there. Is this where we have to build the bridge? Because if so, then it means there's something I missed over in that direction, right? Well, let's go check it out. I'm sorry, Puzzle 3. We are once again returning to an earlier puzzle to abandon you. No other connectors on the other sides, I don't think. But we'll keep an eye out for it, just in case. What can I do for you? Nothing new to say there. Yeah, these areas are really excessively large. I'm really liking this game so far. Like, it goes over a lot of interesting subjects. There's a lot- gives you a lot to think about. And I'm really enjoying the puzzle mechanics too. Like, it's a nice, nice good fusion of gameplay and story that I enjoy. Although, I do have my complaints with the story and dialogue options, of course. And there is still stuff I'm not sure how to feel about yet, but the puzzles are great. I like the puzzles. Alright. I'm reading the map quickly. Something should be over here. Yes! There we go. Alright, where else?
behind the first puzzle we did. Okay. And then after this, we might browse social media a bit. It's this one, right? Could be inside, I suppose. Ah, here it is. Alright. Social media moment. We're all going to die. Look at what happened to Miranda, the founder's own daughter. The mega structure is going to kill us all. Get a grip. This is absurd and disrespectful to Miranda and her parents. Who cares? She's dead. They're probably dead too. We're all dead if that thing blows up. It could collapse the whole world into a singularity. You really should calm down, Fred. There's a legitimate point buried in what you're saying, but panicking isn't going to help anyone. There are reasons to be concerned, but I found 1K's arguments quite convincing so far. Every step forward in human history has come with its mistakes and sacrifices, but we can always learn from them. None of you understand. We have to listen to Bandora. We will burn! Red, why don't you come by my shop for a chat? I have something that could help with all- with your all caps. <laughs> Thank you, Helga. Closing this thread now. <laughs> uh, interesting. So they- they've been paying attention to my conversations, apparently. person trapped in a maze. Someone greeting their friend happy to be living in a beautiful place. Ancient human calling someone on a phone. Nothing? Oh, I thought it was like a secret hidden in a maze, not necessarily a person trapped in a maze. This kind of reminds me of a story that they, uh, they told us, and I think I was in like third grade in one of those special higher education classes or whatever. And uh, they told us a story about some rats going through the maze and finding the cheese and all that. And it was a, a metaphor for work in the real world and all that. And how, you know, people staying on the same cheese horse and it dries up over time, stuff like that. Interesting story, I don't know what it was called though. I shoot a laser beam with the eyes, a frog, an eyeball inside a giant robot. Frenchman. Well, I don't really agree with any of the options here. Yeah, none of those, none of those are good options in my opinion. Back to this. So the next one is inside, downstairs. Oh, I guess we're gonna go downstairs a bit early instead of doing the puzzles in order. Well, I'll still go to Puzzle 3 after this, but we're going down downstairs first. Whee! Alright. Yeah, so it should be oh, way over here somewhere. There's lots of terminals to read here too. We'll do those later. We'll do those once we get down to this area for real. But for now, I'm going to get the star. at the map correctly here. Should be somewhere around here, right? Ah, oh, here we go. So it's maybe I was misreading the map a little bit. Let's go get our star and then we'll continue on with puzzle three. Uh, 
Um... Okay, I don't know why that sound was so very long. That was strange. I was worried I would have to restart checkpoint and then connect this laser beam again, which I can barely even see myself right now, and I'm sure it's even more difficult to see in the actual video. But it's connected, I promise. From examining the data, I think it simply came down to not taking enough precautions. Exactly. Clearly, yeah. protocols existed that would prevent such accidents, but she didn't apply them. That's a technical answer. If you're looking for something more philosophical, I think it's easy to mistake insight for revelation. She thought she was meant to discover something, as if there was some force guiding her. And so she discounted the outcomes that didn't match her expectations. Yeah, pretty much. That's about what I thought. Personally, I'd focus on creating things that help human beings. But her desire to spread life seems admirable to me. If most of the universe is dead, not doing anything with all that space seems like a waste. Yeah, that's certainly something to consider. A lot of other things have to be solved and dealt with first before that's even on the docket, in my opinion, but it is definitely something worth considering. sure if I've noticed yet, but I don't think I've seen any sense of, like, robot racism or sexism. Uh, I think the only real thing that they have been treating them so differently based on is the, the numbers. And that's why they have a rule against it. Right, I need to pick up a star. But yeah, I haven't noticed any particular things like sexism or racism. So that's a good start, at least. If the answers of philosophy are true... Why has no philosopher changed the world? I think there's some other stuff we've talked about that answers that question already. Alright, puzzle three. What are you called? Dismantling. The music really just changes whenever it wants, doesn't it? something up there? I suppose so. Is that on or off? That's off. Is it supposed to be off? Okay, that's what I expected to have happen. That makes sense. Okay, that was the second question.
How do we want to approach this problem? Loading platforms. <laughs> Just thinking. Well. I mean, I guess if we get a box, we'll be able to come back up here, so... Yeah, let's just leave this here. We have a box now. And that's our ultimate goal. Okay. Yeah, so we have to... Do I want to put both of these down here, or just one of them? Do I want to leave this up here somehow? Maybe? Maybe not until I have both boxes up there? No, but how would that work, then? I'll probably have to have lunch after this. Need to drop these both down. seen anything else around, right? Maybe we can leave one of these down here, actually. Yeah, okay. I think I understand now. I could have done this earlier, just didn't think of it. Hey, there we go, did it. Alright, puzzle four, here we come. There were no lasers in that one, right? So... Where's the other star again? We need a green over there, right? Didn't we? Yeah, there's a star- that- that's where we need green in that direction. Hmm... How are we going to accomplish that, though? I 
I guess that's something we'll figure out later. Here we are. Puzzle number four. What are you called? The signs are really far away from the entrances. Control? Yeah, that's a good game for the lore. Not a fan of the gameplay, but the lore and world building is interesting. Hmm. This is definitely a spinning platform. here to succeed in the end. Okay. And there's nothing else in there, right? Yeah. So this is only for when we're close to finished. That's what I expected, honestly. Oh, I could have done this one as well. something, isn't it? Okay, so this is bootstrapped now. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay, but we need... I see how this has to be now. We need this on the button. Yay! Did it. That one. Wait, let me check the sign again. Okay, five is in this direction. Oh, what are you? Oh, it's a bunny! Hello, bunny! <laughs> This or Medusa's look like a uh, flame. Prometheus flame. Oh, I have to go inside now. Okay, I see. Right, well, inside we go, I suppose. I'm guessing this fall might have been too far and we would have died or something, because somebody told me they did die from fall damage. And I thought we couldn't. But I guess we can, because otherwise, how would you get back up? If the lab, you need to turn on the elevators outside. Oh, a frog! That's a colorful frog. Look at that. Interesting. All right, where do I go, sign? This way. Wait, really? Okay, yeah. Wait, didn't we just do puzzle? Three, though? Or do we do Puzzle 4? I already forgot. I guess we did do Puzzle 4. You can tell I'm getting hungry. <laughs> I guess we'll do that terminal after this. Puzzle number 5. Bridging the Gap. 
ultimate goals here. Hmm. That fun. Is that it? Oh, okay. I see. <laughs> Whoopsie. Oh, I did not mean to fall off. That's not good news. Why is that not working? I guess I didn't place the other connector far enough away. Oh... Don't tell me I have to reset this now. Hey! I got back on! Alright. There we go, it just has to be continuous. That's all it was. Alright. Take you. And take you. And we're done. I was worried I'd have to reset and do the blue laser again. Having a friend like Byron is a rare blessing. Someone who listens to you. Who disagrees, but still appreciates your thoughts. The more we explore this island, the more convinced I become that he was wrong. And the megastructure is a threat to all of us. But without people like him, I'm not sure New Jerusalem is worth saving. Oh, I think Byron is closer to the truth than you think, actually. He's certainly a bit too idealistic at times, but he's on the right track. You just rushed ahead into things without taking precautions, which is exactly what happened to Miranda. They're both very idealistic people, and they both had something bad happen to them as a result of not taking proper precautions. Extinction. From selected archive documents, d -thruff. The Dodo, extinct because of Homo sapiens. Killer Sea Cow, extinct because of Homo sapiens. Labrador Doug, extinct because of Homo sapiens. The Recommend Locust, yeah, these are all the, the Silocene, the Deepwater Cisco, Golden Toad, Northwestern White Rhinoceros, Blended Poison Frog, Amur Leopard, literally every last orangutan, Homo sapiens. What do you think will happen to them? <laughs> it's time for this madness to end. Renila says, A shameful list, and yet we're the only species that would ever make such a list and feel bad about it. Miranda says, because extinction is normal in nature, a common side effect of evolution? Cornelius, exactly. What I want you to think about is this. Is natural extinction less tragic? Should we be less opposed to it? Where is the difference, if there is one at all? Well, here's the thing about extinction. If you can recreate the extinct species, then it's not really fully lost, is it? You can still find a niche for it to fill somewhere else if you need it to. So, really, the, the only downside of extinction is if you don't have the genetics on file and you can't recreate the species. That's when extinction is bad. So both natural and human-caused extinction are bad if you don't get the genetics on file and all that and have enough genetic diversity and such before it goes extinct. But once you've taken that stuff and you can easily recreate it, well, it's still alive in the, the data that you've collected, right? And you can recreate it at any time. So it's not necessarily extinct. There's just currently at this time not any living individuals and that could change in the future. This sucks. It's one thing, hearing about the symptoms, it is another totally to experience them. I feel like an insect trapped in resin, slowly congealing. I, I can keep working for a while though. <coughs> um, there's still a bunch of critical tasks 
I, I, I don't know what I'll do when I'm done. Um, a lot of people have gone home, but Alexandra's still here. I don't think she's left even once, not even when her best friend died. Uh, we chatted a bit yesterday. She likes peanut ice cream. Not, not, not pistachio. Peanut. Well, at least we can agree that strawberry is an abomination. What? Strawberry is great. I like vanilla bean and strawberry. Well, then again, I haven't had strawberry in a very long time for in terms of ice cream, but yeah, vanilla bean ice cream is good. I'll have to retry different strawberry ice creams and see what they're talking about. Alright, displacement, which is puzzle six. Alright. Definitely gonna have to eat after this. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Hey, what does this do? Oh, interesting. I might have messed this up already. Let's find out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I just need to preset it up, I think. they can grab them at least. Okay, that works. Yeah, but it doesn't make you walk into it like it does with the barriers. Hey, we did it. We needed red at the Sphinx, right? But I don't think we can get that from here. Unless there's like some hidden sneaky connectors. That's my own laser beam. I don't see any da dashed lines anywhere. Alright. frogs. There's a little thriving ecosystem in the desert here. That's a little oasis. Alright, did I... Is that on the map, actually? Oh yeah, it's called Circular Oasis, an artificial oasis in the otherwise lifeless desert that shows across southwestern portion of the island. Yeah, I just, uh, forgot to read that. Okay, that's that's a puzzle entry. It's not a audio log. Alright, puzzle number seven, above. Ooh. Yeah, this is certainly above. Wait, what? What happened? What's going on? What's causing this? What is causing this to happen? 
Is it just a thing that happens, I guess? I guess that's just part of the puzzle, I suppose. Interesting. I didn't even notice that there are any drillable walls, though. I'm not sure where we want to use this, actually. I don't see anything. Right? Am I missing something? Let's go see what all this is about, I suppose. Okay, so these do move in lockstep. Interesting. Here! Okay, I did not notice this. Interesting. How do we get an angle like that, though? I guess we've gotta take... Yeah... Hmm. Okay. I guess we could take the driller up there as well. That might work better, actually. Let's do that. Because we don't need that fan activated for anything. That actually might have to stay there. But I'll just take it for now, just in case. Yeah, and I can't get through there myself. So, uh, yeah. Come on, gimme! Thank you. And it only lets you put it in this exact position. Hmm. Oh right, I'm on the fan, okay. That's kinda precarious. And it works. I'll take it. Hmm. Every one of these clouds seems to contain exactly the same amount of energy. Didn't you already see that last time, Melville? I'm pretty sure Melville already said that before. Anyway. Thank you for watching. I will see you all in the next episode. <laughs>